I fixed it. Nikon Z6 and Z7 Animal Detection Autofocus is a great feature in their 3.00 firmware release, which came out this week. In addition to dog and cat eye detection, or simply dog and cat face detection if you're shooting video in movie mode, this update also adds support for CF Express memory cards and adds refinement to other AF settings, camera custom control settings, and better support for the latest Nikon Z mount lenses. In this video, I'll quickly show you how to download the update, where in the setup menu you need to activate the animal autofocus mode, and then we'll take a look at how well it works. Spoiler alert, it works well, but there are situations that it can't figure out, and I'll try to point out those stumbling blocks so you can manage your own expectations. I'm shooting with the Nikon Z6 and the Nikon 24-70 f4 Z mount kit lens. Most of my shots and videos were taken in aperture priority mode, wide open at or around f4. Download the firmware from the Nikon website. I'll put a link below. Find the Z cameras, I'm selecting Z6, click on the firmware link, and then view the downloads page. Click download. This will download it to your local computer. You'll be opening that up, it's an executable file. Double click on it, and it will unpack a folder with a bin file inside. You drag this to your memory card and then insert it into your camera. Once you've inserted your memory card in your camera, go to the setup menu and go to the firmware option. If you haven't installed it, you'll see an option to install a new update. Now that it's installed, to turn on the animal face detection, go to the custom menu setting, A, a4 autofocus and select animal detection which is a new option and there you go you're ready to detect your animals we're in photo mode right now so it should be doing eye detection with the dog lying on the ground it's a little bit hard but it eventually figures it out when I come down for a lower angle you'll see immediately it's detecting the dog's eye. Nice and sharp. We'll switch over to video mode. Now remember in video mode you don't get eye detection, you get animal face detection. Here's a split view. You can see that the dog is being tracked. It jumps around a little bit, but again when you come down low, the angle helps the algorithm decipher what part of the picture is the dog's face. From a distance zoomed in, this is photo mode, and you can see it is finding the dog's eyes. Note that it does very well when the dog is facing the camera. When the dog looks down, it has a tougher time. Coda here has very light eyes and a fairly distinct muzzle. She has the typical dog face. So I think she's a really good candidate when she's looking at the camera for the eye detection and the face detection. Now there are some situations that give the camera a tough time, and here comes one of those situations. This is Zoe. She kind of has an atypical look. She's got a long snout, she has dark eyes, and she's shy, so she doesn't look right at the camera. It was pretty hard to get the autofocus to work at her. Now we go outside later and we go to a more brightly lit area and it does much better, but as you can see, when you go to Zoe, it just doesn't want to pick her up. We'll try zooming in, adjusting our image, reframing. She's not looking right at the camera, which is making it really difficult. When we pan over to the other dog, boom, we get that detection. Back to Zoe, she kind of looks up here, and not much. We're gonna to move to a brighter area and we're gonna take a look. We're back on photo mode and you can see the eye detection. Beautiful, look at that clarity. Okay, we're in a brighter area and now when we look at Zoe in better lighting when she has her head up, it does very, very well, I'm pleased. We're gonna do some tests here. We're going to pan over and pick up the dog with her face and her paws and it went right to her eyes. Well, that's working very well. 
We're on the 24 to 70 F4 Nikon Z lens. And if we get just a little too close, no, it's still holding on to focus. Okay, that is dog number one. And as I dolly around, it just switched to dog number two. And it's having a tough time. Now it just, it just picked up the detail, the white fur on her chest. I think it has a hard time, there we go. So when we turn the camera to portrait mode, compensate for the fact that she's passed out. Yeah, there's no AF when they're lying down, when you could only see one eye. Doggies. Okay, we just got Lock as soon as she picked up her head. Hey Zoe, do you want to go out? Come on, get up. Hey girl. I don't know if it's dog face detection or just uh, contrast detection. Now I do not see the little box highlighting her. Now it picked her up. Oh, and they're off. They're after something. Squirrel in the tree. Squirrel in the tree. Hey, doggy. See how quick we have face detection. Doggies, what's this? Face detection. Zoe! Now when they're moving, it doesn't like to do the face detection. When they're looking at you, it's pretty darn good. There we go. Well, no, as soon as she turns her face, and there's some profile, you can see the nose and one eye, it locks on. But it's not guaranteed. With this dog, much better. I'm sure that has to do with the fact that you can see her eyes better. Right, Coda? Yes, there's my girl and it's locked on. Very nice. Look at that detail, look at those eyes. She's being all pretty. And they picked her up. When she looked at me, it locked on. All right, action test. All right, come. And it actually has the lead dog. And now it just picked up the other dog. Coda sit. There we go, that's my actress. So this is with backlight. In conclusion, suffice to say for this pet eye or face detection to work its best, you need good lighting. Whether you're shooting a video or stills, the position of your pooch's head goes a long way to helping the camera's focus algorithm. In good lighting, two eyes and a nose toward the camera are rock solid even for my not-so-typical dog-faced dog. When only one eye is visible, the focus is more hit or miss. When the eyes aren't above the nose, like when the dog is lying on its side, the camera seems to give up. I haven't encountered any reason to not install this firmware update, as normal camera performance remains solid so far. I hope you enjoyed this demo. If you'd like to see more photography and project videos, please subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications. While you're down there, please leave a comment and rate the video with the thumbs up or the thumbs down button. Your feedback means a lot. Hey, if you're a car guy or gal, please check out my other channel, Mike Fixed It, for some auto projects and shenanigans. Thanks for watching and happy shooting. Uh, the things we do for the audience.